Today we're doing Mountain Dew Game Fuel Berry Lime Flavor. This can is next to impossible to light. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg He's Q. Together we're Mr. Happy 0121 and today, today we're reviewing the new Mountain Dew Game Fuel Berry Lime Flavor. Boom, only took me three takes to get that right. Quick story, quick shout out to 00 Wolf Spirit. You are the reason we are making this video because I did not know that this one had gotten by us. So thank you for your vigilance. You are appreciated. You ready to break into this? Skull. Salute. This is easy. We we'll give this an A. It tastes great. Very delicious. It has a milky, creamy flavor. So well, it tastes like uh, like Skittles. Like you put Skittles in a Mountain Dew. If you're That's gonna right. make Skittle flavored Mountain Dew, it tastes just like that. Actually, I've done that before. Yeah, I think it's good. Um, what grade did you give it? An A. An A. A plus. A plus. I'm gonna go A minus. I agree with everything you said. I liked it a lot. It's up there. It is not above the Game Fuel uh, Citrus, Cherry Citrus. I believe it is. It's not above Code Red. It's on, on part of me with original Mountain Dew. The berry, again, the infamous what kind of berry is it, but you definitely get that flavor from it. You know what they mean when you when it yeah. says berry. And the thing that kind of put me off of this, what worried me was the lime. <laughs> I, I'm not a lime guy, but the berry mutes it enough. It does have kind of a cream soda quality. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go A minus. And I, we can attest that this is good cold or warm, which is rare. All right. Look forward to, in the coming weeks, we've got a couple more Mountain Dew videos up. The reason this one fell through the cracks is I've been working so hard to get pitch black uh, Mountain Dew from Malaysia. Malaysia. That's the only place left you can get pitch black, which is a blessing because if I remember correctly, pitch black was not very good. But we're going to review it anyway. A um, couple shout outs. And then we're going to do our movie recommendation, and we're out for today. Are you ready, sir? That's right. Shout out! Main Gorpo. Main Gorpo. Boom. There Boom. you are, buddy. Bang. Thanks for watching. Uh, shout out number two is Scholar Hunt. Scholar Hunt requested we use that name instead of his screen name, and so I've already forgotten the screen name. Thanks for watching, Scholar Hunt. Last but not least, Burn Productions. We have not gone to make sure that he's not some kind of pyro maniac that burns down houses on video. So or we flags or something. Yeah, we hope that he means like sick burn something. It's a pretty cool name. Maybe. It is. Maybe he just enjoys burn productions. Maybe the name isn't dictated by the yeah. I don't know. Yeah, kind of like Mr. Happy Zero One Two One doesn't exactly scream food review. No, it doesn't. You make a fine point, sir. Today's Halloween selection is Bubba Hotep. Uh, Bubba Hotep stars Bruce Campbell and Ossie Davis. You may remember Bruce Campbell as Ash from the Evil Dead series. Pretty groovy movie. Pretty groovy. Then Ossie Davis. Um, let's see. Bruce Campbell plays Elvis in a retirement home. <laughs> um, people are dying horrible deaths in the retirement home, and he teams up with Ossie Davis, a black man in a wheelchair that believes he is JFK, to fight a 2,000-year-old mummy. Yes. All of that I just said is not just words randomly put together. That is the plot of this movie. That just sounds like I had a stroke when I started saying all that. <laughs> yeah. Didn't it? <clears throat> sounds like a great joke. I don't know what else I could throw in there that would sound any more ridiculous. But this is a movie, and it's good, and it works. Uh, it's by the guy that made the Phantasm movies back in the 70s. We'll talk about those another time. They're a, another special kind of weird. <clears throat> but, yeah, if Elvis and JFK... Trapped in the body of a black man fighting a 2,000-year-old mummy in a retirement home doesn't sound like a movie you want to see, then you should probably skip this one because that's exactly what you get. You want to hear my favorite JFK quote? <laughs> Let's hear it. Sitting in the back seat is always a blast. God. Too soon. Too, too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Or a journey of a 1,000 miles begins with one step. How about that one? Sure. That, that's a real JFK. What was it? Ock nine bing lying is the litter or something. Oh, you having a stroke right now? <laughs> <laughs> when he went to Germany and he tried to say that he, he was uh, a Berliner, but he said he was a wiener, but <laughs> nobody told him. I don't remember that. Never heard that.
Uh, look it up. He went and gave this big speech, and it, it, he learned German, and he thought he was saying that some along the lines of all, we're all German, but he called himself a weenie, wiener. And then people applauded wildly, and he thought he did great. It's extremely embarrassing. That's awesome. That lucky for him, the internet didn't exist. Yeah, yet. yeah, very lucky for him. He was the only person who knows. Everyone else who knows is dead. Everyone that knows is dead. He yeah. had them killed. He did. And then somebody killed him. Oh, boy. But we digress. Anyway, Bubba Hotep. Check it out, and then let us know what you think. Uh... You told me before this that you could probably find this on YouTube, and you're oh, yeah, probably, probably right. Uh, if if you're hard up, you can go find it on Amazon for like three dollars. But go ahead and get it on YouTube. If you buy it on Amazon for three dollars, <laughs> the people that made the movie aren't getting any money anyway. Or just steal it. I don't even. You couldn't steal it because <laughs> nowhere sells it. You have to go That's online to point. find it. I don't think Amazon's gonna. If you break into Amazon and you go steal Bubba Hotep, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> just throwing that in there. If you get past all that security, you may want to go for a bigger score. Although this is this is a good enough movie to break into you uh, YouTube, break into Amazon to steal. Remember when this was going to be a short video? Yeah, what happened to that? We got to check it out of soda. No. <laughs> so you guys want to hear a story real quick? There's two versions of this video. There's this version that you're watching right now, and then there is a, a another version in an alternate universe that's 17 <laughs> minutes long that's going to go over on the other channel. So if you ever wonder what we take out of videos that you end up seeing, there's a completely different version of this video on the other channel. A horrifying version. Yeah, horrifying. At the end, uh, he rips his face off to reveal he's the Red Skull. Yeah. It yeah. happened. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. Just search Mr. Happy 0121. Stay vigilant. Because if you don't, you'll end up like this guy. Yeah.